Hello and welcome to another update video about INJ, Injective Protocol. Lots of requests currently for this coin. Understand that because it did move up quite a bit in recent, um, well, weeks. And so far hasn't had any deep retracement really with the expect, uh, exception of this one here, which was on the 10th of March like many other coins, but it did rally in something that you could consider a third wave rally afterwards. I think it reached also third wave target and expectations, which would be typically the 1.618 extension of wave one here. Yeah, um, yeah, reached it. That's why in the previous video we did count it as a third wave and we're now watching for a possible fourth wave setback. Ideally, yeah, this does now not go below 688. If it does, it would force an alternative interpretation. So until it holds 688, um, we can expect a fifth wave to the upside of a larger degree third, then another four and a fifth. So um, what would be a rough target for that? Um, yeah, again, it's a bit difficult without having the low in place for four, but we can, just to give you an idea what we might expect here, and um, we might be talking here about roughly target for that fifth wave. If we, if we take the most bearish approach between, um, well, actually around 1142, that would be certainly the first level to watch. Normally the 968 level, here in this case, the 38.2 extension, but that would be too low. Yeah, we would then not make a higher high, so it's invalid. But the 1142 level is a key level, 1266 and 1423, they are all levels to watch in that price region for this fifth wave. Um, but what happens if we break below 688? Well, at the moment, you know, I'm counting this as a possible impul impulse that's evolving. Um, Obviously, we got rejected exactly at the resistance here, previous wave too high. Um, we did talk about that resistance level. The $10 level is also a psychological resistance, so it takes a lot to get through. In an alternative approach, we would be looking here at this as a diagonal pattern to the upside. So basically, we had not instead of having the overall bear market low here, we would have it here. And then we count this a little bit different, and we would say this was a wave one, this was a wave two, this was a wave three. We, all of this is now four and could go down a bit deeper and then move up in five. That's the alternative. In that alternative interpretation, we have the way four a little lower because we count it from a different um, point. Yeah? In that scenario, this, the 563 level is relevant. 563. So let me highlight that alternative way four perspective support we would then have support well yeah between six disregard the upper one but then if we break below the initial wave for support area and we go a little a little deeper but hold 564 i can change the higher degree count and we still have a chance to stop in a wave four just a different degree wave four Hold it 565, 564, but below that it would get quite questionable and I would say we then have to expect a much deeper pullback. There will be one more chance for it to find support then, but you know it will also be questionable then. It will just get unreliable then. So these are the key supports. Um, what do I say? 564 is one. Let me add that to the chart as a... Yeah, 560. So, and then, um, I mean, below that, we can, we can cover it when we, when we cross that bridge, we can talk about that, but alternative support after that, if it still keeps dipping, but bear in mind at that time, it will be quite unreliable, is $3.15. Below that level, I think we have to expect new bear market lows if we get a sustained drop below that level. All right, that's my update about INJ. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.